hello friends welcome once again to my channel in this video we are going to discuss a nice topic which is a uh, bearing um, when I was quite tender I went to England with my dad okay well when we were at England we decided to go to the beach to uh, maybe uh, use the ship to move from one place to the other but deep inside the sea I was wondering how the captain was able to detect direction by using the boat because right at the middle of the sea you wouldn't know your left or right you wouldn't know where you are heading to at all and as a result of that i became confused and i asked my dad why is this uh, or how is this captain making a direction or dictating direction and my dad laughed at me and told me that he's ma he makes use of the compact uh, bearing that the compass bearing gives him the direction that is what we are going to discuss today bearing this bearing is quite important in the sense that without it traveling by air or by water can be possible because the pilot in the air makes use of compass bearing to detect his direction likewise the captain in the sea again this compass bearing is very very important in the sense that it always points towards the north helping you to know your left and your right by making use of the cardinal points which are the north the west, the south, and the east. These are the four basic cardinal points. And a division of the north, south, west, and east will give us so many other points. Okay, what is bearing? Bearing is just a way of defining direction as an angle measured from the north pole in a clockwise direction. When I say clockwise direction, I mean that part in which a clock takes. Okay, so bearing is just a way of defining an angle or defining direction as an angle measured from the north pole in a clockwise direction now having known the meaning of bearing there are two ways of indicating bearing which are the three figure bearing and the compact bearing the three figure bearing and the compass bearing they are just the two basic ways of indicating bearing the compass bearing makes measurement from either the north or the south, while the three-figure bearing or the three-digit bearing makes measurement only from the north uh, pole. This is just the difference between the compass bearing and the three-figure bearing. My, that, uh, let me remind, uh, remind you again that the compass bearing can as well be called the acute angle the bearing, okay? Because all the angles there are always less than 90 degrees. So today, let us begin with the compass uh, bearing. Now, let's say I have something like uh, uh, 50 degrees east of north. This is 50 degrees east of north. Uh, so whenever you see bearing in this form, you should know that this is talking about the compass bearing or the acute angle bearing because it makes reference from either the north or south. So if I want to represent this in the Cartesian plane, I have to draw something like this. Okay, so this is a cardinal point. So if I want to put in this 50 degrees east of north, look at where I'm having northeast. So it's somewhere here. Um, the 50 degrees will now be here. 50 degrees east of north because this is where you have the northeast. Northeast is between north and the east. And the angle must always be attached to the north or to the south as the case may be. Don't come and put this 50 here. Once you put it here, it is wrong. Because measurement will begin either from north or from south when you talk about the compass uh, bearing. Okay, assuming it is like this. So, assuming this is what I'm having, south, uh, 50 degrees east of south. And I want to place it here. So, this look at where you have southeast here, south and east. So, it's somewhere here. And remember... You have to make the angle to be attached here 50 degrees because this is your south uh, east okay so it must be attached to either the south or the north but since it's bearing south you must attach it to the south if it is uh, southwest let's say i have uh, 50 degrees uh, west of south now southwest is going to be here attached here so here is uh, 50 degrees if it is a northwest, I will put the 50 degrees here. 
50 degrees so it must be attached to either the north or south when you talk about the compact uh, bearing okay so let's go for the three figure bearing or three digit bearing For the three figure bearing, we don't have something like north, east, south, west, and all that. The bearing is given in three digits. Okay, let's say you can have 0, 6, 60 degrees. So if you want to write 60 degrees, don't just come and write 60, attach 0 there because it is made in three digits. You can have uh, 120 degrees, you can have uh, 240 degrees. You can have 330 degrees so now assuming i want i'm having all these things and i want to place them in the uh, three figure bearing in a diagram look at what you have this is north this is south this is west and this is uh, east so i'm having 60 degrees here 60 degrees you start from the north to turn when you talk about the um three figure bearing all movements must begin from the north and you know that this is a circle that is one thing you need to know this is a circle and the sum of angles in a circle is 360 degrees and this is 360 degrees is divided into four quadrants four quadrants and when you divide 360 by four equal parts we are getting 90 degrees this is to tell you that each of the quadrants here is 90 degrees hence here is 90 here is 90 and 90 plus 90 is 180 plus 90 270 plus 90 you get 360 degrees so for 60 degrees it's going to be somewhere here because 60 has not reached 90 if i turn to touch this line this is at 90 degrees so 60 must be somewhere here so this 60 degrees will be written as 0 60 degrees i've plotted the first one 60 degrees okay so if i want to plot the second one now let me clean up here for the second one where i have 120 degrees okay 120 degrees I, I must begin from the north also if i turn and touch here this is 90 but 90 is not yet up to 120 i will turn a bit here and stop i'm stopping here because if i turn and touch this line that is 180 degrees 90 plus 90 is 180 which is more than 120 i'm talking about so since here is 90 i will now ask myself what will I add to this 90 so that it will be equal to this 120 that I'm looking for? Of course, it is 30 degrees. Okay? Of course, it is 30 degrees. Or you say, since you have 90 here, 120 minus 90 will give you 30. So this is this 30 degrees, 90 and 30, 120. Okay? So you see how... So this, this pattern I've broken down here is very, very important when we come into the conversion of three-digit bearing to compact bearing. Okay? So... Or if you don't want it that way, you can clean all of them and just write 120 degrees. Okay, so for the third, this is 240 degrees. So you turn 90, 90 is 180. 240 is somewhere here. So I'll remove 180 from uh, here is 90, here is 90 which is 180 so 240 minus that 180 will give me 60 degrees okay because 90 degrees plus uh, another 90 degrees plus uh, 60 degrees will give me 240 degrees the same thing applies here if i'm looking for 330 it must fall in the fourth uh, quadrant as usual okay now let us see the relationship that exists between the compass bearing and the three digit bearing So these are the questions we have and we want to convert them into three digit uh, bearing okay to do that and the first one you have not 50 degrees east or 50 degrees east of north you draw your cardinal point north south west and the uh, east okay now we're talking about 50 degrees east of north okay and this is not east where you have north east so you draw your line here so it is somewhere here 50 degrees okay so this 50 degrees in north east is still equivalent to 0 5 0 degrees in three digit bearing so they are equivalent so whenever the value is falling in the first quadrant 
for compass bearing. It will have the same value as the three digit uh, bearing. But for the second one here, we have 40 degrees west of north. So we draw your cardinal point. This is north, south, west, and uh, east. I have 40 degrees west of north. Of course, northwest is here. So it's something like this. So you write the 40 degrees here. Um, now, if you want to know the equivalence of this 40 degrees west of north in, in the three digit bearing, remember that every measurement must begin from the north for three digit bearing and moves in anti in clockwise direction, in clockwise direction. So you begin from the north pole to turn until it touches this line you've drawn, you stop. Begin from the north pole to turn until it touches this line you've drawn. The first quadrant must contain 90 degrees, second quadrant is 90 degrees, third quadrant is 90 degrees. But I need to know the value of this angle here. Of course, each quadrant is 90 degrees. And this particular part has taken away 40 degrees. Hence, the leftover is uh, 50 degrees. So if I want to know the value of 40 degrees west of north in three digit bearing, I'm going to add 90, 90, 90 and 50 degrees. So it's going to be 90 degrees plus uh, 90 degrees plus 90 degrees then plus 50 degrees. 90 plus 90 is 180 plus 90 is uh, 270 and 270 plus 50 will give us uh, 320 degrees. So the answer is 320 degrees in three digit bearing. So this and this are equivalent. So let's go for the third. Okay, for the third one. We have 30 degrees east of south. So we draw a straight line. North, south, west, and the east. Southeast is somewhere here. This is southeast. So you draw the line here. And the angle must be attached to the south for the compass bearing 30 degrees. So I will begin from the north pole to turn. If I want to know the equivalence in three digit bearing. I must begin from the north pole and turn until it touches this line. I will now stop. Okay. The first quadrant contains 90 degrees. So if I want to know the content of the second quadrant here, each quadrant is 90. So I will remove this 30 from 90. It will give me 60 degrees. Hence, the required value will be 90 plus 60. And when I add 90 and 60, I will get 150 degrees. Hence, this and this are equivalent. That's the conversion. Okay. For... For this one here, we have 40 degrees west of south. So you draw your plane here. This is uh, north, this is south, this is west, and of course here is east. Southwest is somewhere here. And the angle there is 40 degrees. So you're placing your 40 degrees here. So you begin from the north to turn in clockwise direction until it touches this particular line. So you turn. It touches it, you stop. This angle here is 90 degrees. This is 90. Now, good enough here. We have already known the angle here. No need of subtracting because this place that is unknown is not useful for us because we need the angle that will turn from the north and touch this particular line. So the required bearing will be 90 plus 90, which is 180 plus 40, giving us 220 degrees. So these and these are equivalent. So this is how you can convert a uh, three digit bearing, how you can convert compass bearing to three digit bearing. Now let us summarize on how we can convert the three digit bearing into the compass uh, bearing. Okay, so these are the questions we want to convert into the compass bearing. For the first one, you've got to draw your Cartesian plane. This is the north, the south, the west, and the east. We have 130 degrees. You have to bear in mind that you turn clockwise direction and having in your mind that uh, each quadrant is 90 degrees. So from here to here is uh, 90 degrees. But if I turn to touch here, it's another 90, which is 180 degrees. So it's falling in in the um, second quadrant. So 130 minus 90 will give us 40. So this particular angle here is 40 degrees because 90 plus 40 will give us 130. But to convert to compass bearing, we are interested in the angle that is attached to either south or pole or north pole. 
but the angle attached here is unknown but each quadrant is 90 degrees so remove 40 from 90 will be left with uh, 50 degrees hence the answer will now be uh, 50 degrees east of south so this and this are equivalent 50 degrees east of uh, south so for the second one we will have 60 degrees only you just draw your cartesian plane the north the east the south the west 60 degrees must be in the first quadrant here because it's not up to 90 if it's not up to 90 to talk of entering into a second quadrant so here is 0 60 degrees and where is it located it's located between north and the east hence you call it uh, 60 degrees east of north so these and these are the same thing whenever it falls in the first quadrant they have the same value okay so for the third one for the third one, we'll have 235 degrees. So you've got to draw this. The north, the south, the west, and the east. Begin to turn from the north until it, it makes 235 degrees. From here to here is 90. Another 90 will give us uh, 180 degrees. But if I touch here, it's 270 more than 235. So it's somewhere here. Okay. So since the two we've got is 180, you now say 235 minus 180. This will give us around 55 degrees. Okay, and automatically this 55 degrees is attached to the south and it is under southwest. So the answer is now south, 55 degrees uh, west. That's just the answer to this. So for the last one, which is 320 degrees, um, you draw a cardinal point the north the south the west and the east you begin to turn from the north pole in clockwise direction this is 90 degrees another 90 degrees another 90 degrees 90 90 90 is 270 not yet 320 degrees so it's falling in somewhere here so since we are at 270 we now say 320 minus 270 should be around 50 degrees but we are interested in the angle that is attached to the north. And this quadrant is 90 degrees. I will now remove 50 from 90. I'm left with uh, 40 degrees. Hence, this is under northwest. The right answer is now north, 40 degrees west, which is 40 degrees west of uh, north. So I think at this point, I'm coming to the expiration of this class. Expect videos on the main problems that are involved in bearing because there are so many things pertaining to this bearing i encourage you to share this video so that it can go viral subscribe also to my youtube channel it's a of online mass follow me on instagram chooks look at the name chooks so this is my instagram name follow me again on tiktok it's a of online mass thank you so much